All right, guys, welcome back to Upper Left RC. This should be part three of the mini crawler course build. Uh, last episode, I had just finished spraying this. It's nice and hard now. I'm going to try and get this out of here, carve this up kind of the way I need it. I got four more cans of this. This thing is going to be huge. This is significantly bigger than either of my other two courses already, and I still need to add some sort of incline here because I want to be able to go underneath somewhere in here, similar to like this tunnel down here. I want like a big hill I can go up, maybe some steeper than others, different routes that are harder, um, across the top, down and around through the tunnel, be able to drive around it on all four sides, and then maybe a couple other things over here. Um, so yeah, I need quite a bit more foam and a lot more carving, and I think we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's go. Slightly warped, but lid still fits on it, so we're okay. Alright, switch back to the other side so I can start kind of getting this part set up as well.
this as easy to see as possible and I'll rotate as we go, but. Wheels are definitely sticking to that that saran wrap in there, but let's turn this thing around. I chose the deadbolt to test because it is the tallest of the three trucks I currently have. A little bit more technical driving with a lot of backups. But that right there is roughly, oh the styrofoam stuck to the wheels looks gross. Uh, that is essentially what I wanted the spiral mountain air quotes. <laughs> Actually, here's the original drawing. The terrible, terrible drawing. That's the spiral mountain. This is what I had actually pictured in my head, or at least very similar to this, where you could crawl around and up to the top. I didn't originally think to put a tunnel in here, but I like the tunnel aspect because then it can go into the bridge the second part the stone bridge this is now essentially a bridge and i'm gonna try and put this tin can down here as well oh yeah lots of clean up later down here as well and do another tunnel and then foam over this and make this a big hill to get up to the top so you can go down and around or up and around and over and I think that's pretty much going to be the bulk of the course. I also had another idea. I've got a whole bag of these scraps that I've cut off already. I'm just gonna start sticking them to this so that as it expands, it'll grow in size since I need to make the whole thing out to here. And uh, it'll, I'll be using less foam and more of these reused pieces I was just gonna throw away, so. All right, it looks like this stuff is uh, expanding pretty well. It's dry, so I wanna get one more coat on this thing.
So I think that's gonna wrap it up for part three. Um, got a lot of progress done. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, especially to harden and set up. And it's still a little too steep here. I'm gonna need to bring it at a little bit of an angle, I think. I wanna add a couple obstacles up the hill as well, just so it's not a straight up hill climb. You know, I want it to be harder than just driving up an incline, so.